Good morning, folks. We got you inside of a interesting truck we're going to show you here this morning. Uh, this is not a large truck. This truck is only a 16-foot box, and it's only six foot six wide. But it is loaded up for six foot six. Let's take a look and see what's in it. We're going to tell you that this is a built to be a coffee truck, and we will be there, the owner will be serving uh, pastries and coffee. <coughs> so needed in this truck. We have a three-bay sink on this side. We have a splash guard with a hand sink, and we have a shelving, a drip shelving and shelving over the sink. At the very end of the trailer, we have a refrigerator with a glass front for the pastries or whatever is dough, or, and uh, it's on the end here. And then as we're backing up in this, in this truck, you'll see that we have the coffee, if Richard keeps backing all the way to the front. We have serving windows on this side, which is, he's got two complete serving window systems, so he can serve four clients at the same time. We have a coffee maker machine, which you probably recognize right here. And beside the coffee maker, we have a pitcher rinsing, which you put the pitcher over, the water squirts out, it cleans the pitcher and drain. to like a small mini sink for cleaning the pitcher for the coffee. And then right behind the machine here, we have the big espresso machine. Very expensive machine, does a great job, and it's all mounted here, and it's set up and fed. We're gonna show you down here an interesting area where we have all the filters. There are four water filters in this truck for that machine. There is a water booster system, so it gets the coffee water up there under pressure and maintains that for the cappuccino machine. So you can see the booster setup, the auxiliary pumps, the water filters. Uh, it's pretty well loaded out and a hot water heater is mounted as well under there. So all of the components are here together so that they have all valves on them and they can be maintained here. That's why they left them open so they're accessible. But uh, the coffee machine is pretty well filled up here. Behind the espresso machine is another refrigerator, which you can get a picture of here, Richard, man, I don't know from a distance, be able to go to the outside. Like I say, six foot six is pretty tight, but it's workable. And they got room to work the top here, work the counter, and mounted on the wall behind them, we have the panel. Panel box has the breaker set up, so you got shore power or generator. This truck is equipped with a 20K diesel generator. Cappuccino machines pull a lot of amperage. And it has a a start system right here on the inside for your generator. So you can start your generator here, your panels are here, you just move your main to generator power or shore power, whichever one you're using. And uh, it's quite a little machine. It's, uh, it's going to do coffee and rolls. And it's all he needs for it. He's got plenty of room, got plenty of counter space, got worktop, plenty of plugs, and uh, we'll see him serving a bunch of coffee. So. If you're looking for a small truck with still uh, functional, you can see this is uh, pretty well serves the purpose. So come on and see us and we'll see if we put one together for you. Hey, I'm uh, Caleb Goodrum with Refuge Coffee Co. in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, just coming here to pick up this beautiful coffee truck that m &R Trailers just built for us. Um, really amazing piece of work. Got a huge generator in here. It's really some custom plumbing that I ordered looks just perfect uh, to include this pitcher rinser, you know, um, which is a little tricky. So these guys know what they're doing. They've uh, they've created a really, really good tool here for me to start this Refuge Coffee company. Um, a little bit about Refuge. We are a nonprofit uh, out of Atlanta, a little city called Clarkson just outside. Um, it's a refugee relocation city for the United States. And so we're going to kind of use this truck to do uh, job training for refugees uh, who might come to the U.S. without maybe enough job skills that are making them eligible for like, good employment in the United States. A lot of people end up in dead-end jobs, so we're going to try to teach people to make coffee, do food service, food safety, customer service, um, and then layer on some other skills so that they'll be really, after about a year of training and other things, mentorship, um, they'll be able to just thrive in the in the United States, their, their new home. So we'll be using this truck for that and really, really looking forward to just getting started and making that happen. Any contact information you want to give out? Yeah, you can find us at uh, refuge.coffee. If you, if you type that into your browser, refuge.coffee, you'll find us. Uh, we're on social media at Refuge Coffee Company on Instagram, Twitter, 
uh, Refuge Coffee Co. on Facebook, so you'll find us all those places, and uh, we'll be on the road hopefully in the next few weeks.